Welcome to Ream Tech Tips. Ream New Zealand Limited does not in any way endorse the installation or maintenance of Ream products by an unlicensed practitioner. The work shown in this video is provided as a guide only. Full instruction manuals are available online from my Ream Pro. This time we're going to show how to check and clear the error code history and access the unit's maintenance information on Ream Series 2 Gas Continuous Flow Water Heaters. The current error code will be displayed on Ream Gas Continuous Flow Water Heaters and Controllers, but the last eight error codes are saved into memory. These errors and other maintenance information can be accessed and shown on the front LED display or remotely from a wired temperature controller. Details of this and how to access it can be found on the diagnosis sheet from inside the front cover or from the full service manual. This table show what information is available and we'll change the format here to make it easier to see on screen. Each box within the table holds a piece of data such as the last eight error codes here. The table also has combustion operation data and the rest of the table gives access to live data from the internal components. To access the data direct from the unit, remove the front cover and locate the dip switches and the max and min buttons on the PCB. Turn on dip switch number one by pushing it towards the rear of the unit using an insulated tool. The front LED display will show 1E followed by a number. 1E is the grid reference from the table where the last error code is stored. The number it changes to is that error code. If two dashes are displayed at any time this means the memory location is empty and no error has been recorded. To navigate through the table the grid reference can be changed using the max button to change the number between 0 and 9. Once 9 is reached it will re return to 0. The min button will change the letter through a sequence between E to U. Once U is reached it will return to E. So if we navigate along from 1E, 2E, 3E and so on to 8E, these are the last eight error codes recorded, 1E being the most recent and 8E being the oldest. Navigating to 1Y will show the live flow rate in litres per minute being recorded by the water turbine. This may be helpful to diagnose a faulty unit which is unresponsive when a tap is turned on to identify if there is a problem with the turbine not spinning. To hold the display at any grid location, turn on dip switch 2. The display will remain static for easier reading. To move on to a different location, turn off dip switch 2 to proceed. The next four boxes on the table in this line has the live temperatures from the temperature thermistors. 2Y is the ambient air temperature. 3Y is the inlet cold water temperature. 4Y is the heat exchanger temperature. And 5Y is the hot water outlet temperature. To return the unit to normal operation, just turn off dip switch number one at any time. This maintenance data is also accessible from wired controllers. Ensure the water heater has power turned on to it. On the temperature controller press the power button to turn the controller off. Next press and hold the temperature increase and decrease buttons simultaneously for 3 seconds. As we have seen on the water heater LED display the controller will now show 1E alternating to a number which is the last error code. The navigation now is the same as we access directly from the water heater, this time using the temperature increase and decrease buttons to enter the grid reference. 
The error code history can be cleared when accessing the maintenance data directly from the water heater PCB only. This may be useful for intermittent faults as the history can be cleared and if the fault returns over time the history can be checked again to see if there are fresh new errors stored. To do this any wired controllers on the system need to be turned off. Then turn dip switch number one on and then off again. Within five seconds press and hold either the max or min button until CL is shown on the LED display indicating the history has been cleared. Each error memory location will now display two dashes to indicate they're empty. The maintenance information is referenced through this series of Tech Tips videos. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, full product details, spare parts, installation and service manuals are all available through MyRem Pro. Also, our nationwide service centre network can provide further product support if required. So just reach out to the team.